This is it. Welcome to CDVV's Books on Tape. Tonight, the part of Code Zidum will be played by Ilea, and the part of Shin AMV will be played by Fallchild42. Disclaimer, this interview project is not affiliated with AnimeMusicVideos.org or Code Zidum, or the FCC, or the United States government, or little Billy Tompkins who lives in Hattersfield, North Dakota, and as a result of CDVV's boredom. These questions do not reflect the opinions of AnimeMusicVideos.org or its administration. May cause dry mouth, constipation, diarrhea, and heart failure at the same time. Offer void in Ohio. Please allow six to eight weeks shipping and handling. The Lip Flapper. Description. Welcome to The Lip Flapper. Each month, I will interview two to three active members of AnimeMusicVideos.org and get their philosophy on editing, how they view the community, and a few personal questions about their additions to the AMV.org community. This week in The Lip Flapper. This week I sat down with Shin AMV, editor of the very popular Safety Dance, Written in the Spirals, Out of the Box, and Fate Matrix, and asked him some questions about his most recent work as well as his editing philosophy. The interview. First of all, let me thank you for taking the time to answer my questions. But before we get started, how about you introduce yourself to the readers and let us know a little about yourself? Maybe what your favorite AMV is? My AMV editing nickname is Shin, and I'm a big fan of AMVs. I've been making AMVs for just a little under two years now. Sometimes I think my passion and enjoyment for AMVs might be well crossing the border into obsession, though. I, li I like a lot of them across all genres, so it's really hard to pick out a favorite at any given time. Although a few AMVs that I've been replaying a lot lately are Chica Boom's Electro Penguin and Ilya's Where I Am Now. Well, thanks for joining me, Shin AMV. Let us start off nice and easy and ask how you got involved in editing AMVs. I had always wanted to make AMVs ever since I was younger, but never really had the time or hardware to do it. But when I got all the essential equipment, I started off by making a bunch of romance-type AMVs to be shown at my wedding as a tribute to our nerdiness. After that, I just kept making them because it was really fun. So what goes through your mind as you edit? Is there anything special that you do before, during, or after editing? What's your process that you go through? I have a feeling my process for editing is way less organized compared to others. I don't really have a lot of pre-planning or anything, and I start a lot of different projects based on feel or inspiration, and will switch around a lot from one project to another just based on what, on to whatever was popping into my head at any given moment. Usually, I'll start a project because I have an, I have an idea for maybe one or two scenes, or just think about a song-anime combination would seem fun. Although, I do have a long iteration process and will have about five to six different alternate versions for most scenes to really try to find what feels the most appropriate. So why do you edit? Is editing just a fun hobby? Or perhaps you have a different motivation? I would say I do it mostly for fun. It's a really great creative outlet, and it's fun to share what you made with others who also enjoy the hobby. Now, I have seen that you've been very successful in the American cons lately. How does it feel to get such positive recognition for your work? It feels really nice that people enjoy watching my AMVs, whether it wins or not. So winning is just a nice added bonus. I like to enter a lot of contests as an added motivation to help me really settle down on a particular AMV to finish it. Otherwise, I'd have a lot of projects sitting around that are like 60 to 80 percent completion. One of your most recent works, Safety Dance, has gotten a lot of very positive reception and is a very fun AMV to watch and enjoy myself. So what went through your mind as you were editing this, and what inspired you to work on this? Also, are you a Futurama fan? If so, awesome. Awesome to the max. <laughs> yes, I am a Futurama fan. I started Safety Dance more or less on a whim after my twin brother said I should make an AMV to the song after we had watched that Futurama episode. I originally started out making it, thinking it would be a multi-anime AMV. I started off the project using Nichijou. And it felt, and it just felt like a Nichijo AMV after that, and I decided to do it all with that single source instead. I wanted to make it fun, bouncy, and silly, which Nichijo was, full of good scenes portraying that. You also recently edited a strong entry for Across, Fate Matrix, which was a collaboration with Gunther AMVs. How did this collaborative effort work out? Was it fun? How did you end up dividing the work? Any advice you might offer editors who do collaborative efforts? How did you come up with the idea of a cyber god? Gunther AMVs was the one who thought up of the core concept of the AMV. She told me she had an idea for creating an AMV where someone controlled and watched someone else through a computer television screen. And we talked about it for a while and bounced ideas back and forth until eventually 
became the current concept of a cyber god watching over a lot of people and manipulating their fate. She didn't think she had the technical ability to do a lot of the stuff, so she asked if I wanted to collab on the project, and I was more than happy to join in on it. The division of labor on the project is probably different compared to a lot of collab projects. She would make a lot of storyline-type pieces, and I would end up going into the computer screens. So she would end up making two to three mini-AMVs. I would look over them and chop up, resync, and add to them, and fit, fit into the little computer windows. So it was a really long, iterative process. One benefit of the song we used was that, since a lot of it was repetitive, most of the parts were really modular, and able to be moved at will from one part to another without any syncing issues. Overall, the process of making this AMV was really fun. Out of the Box was a really trippy video. Personally, it was one of my favorite videos of the entire year. So where in your head did this AMV come from? I'm not actually sure where this one really came from. I started working on it because the song and the anime seemed to match well in terms of feeling boxed in. I wanted to feel kind of crazy and trippy to emphasize the complexities of being trapped in a seemingly mundane world, but not be so depressive about it. So it kind of mirrors the show a little in that it's kind of a surreal, wacky take on the rigmarole of the routine and ordinary. While I'm not a, as big of a fan of it as your other work, I've seen others go crazy over written in the spirals. What was your inspiration or motivation there? I started watching Tangent and Tapa Gurren Lagan after seeing Vlad's AMV f flash. Ah! It was a fun and entertaining AMV, and I've seen other TTGL AMVs before, but this one finally pushed my interest enough to go out and watch the series. I heard the song after I had finished watching a few episodes of TTGL, and it just kind of clicked in my mind, and it matched, and I started messing around with it. So what do you think of the AMV.org community? I generally have a positive attitude about the org and think it's a helpful place if you really want to improve on your technique slash style. But it's definitely a hard place to be if you're not quite ready for that step or, or really sensitive to critique. But it seems like, for the most part, most of the community means very well. Anything you'd like to say to the AMV.org community itself? Hmm, not that I can think of in particular. Maybe just thanks for having a strong interest in AMVs. Well, thank you again for taking the time to answer my questions. Do you have any last-minute advice you'd like to give editors that might be just starting out? Or just something you'd like to say in general? Advice I would give to any editor, old or new, is to just keep going. Don't worry about the reception of any particular AMV. Learn from your flops and revel in your masterpieces alike. Everyone will have both good and bad AMVs, but the most important thing is whether or not you enjoyed making them. Next time in The Lip Flapper. Well, that's all I have for this week. Join me on the week of December 26th when we sit down and interview with P-Wolf, a longtime member of AMV.org and the developer of the AMV app for mobile smartphones.